Dear Congregation, Today, we gather to address a common struggle in our modern world, the preoccupation with material possessions and concerns. In a society driven by consumerism and worldly success, it's easy to become ensnared by the pursuit of wealth and possessions. However, as followers of Christ, we are called to seek a different kind of wealth, one that transcends the material and leads to spiritual abundance. Let us explore together how we can navigate the challenges of materialism and find true fulfillment in our faith. Matthew chapter 6 verse 19 21. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Materialism promises fulfillment through the accumulation of wealth and possessions, yet it often leads to discontentment and spiritual emptiness. The allure of material wealth can distract us from what truly matters in life and hinder our relationship with God. Let us acknowledge the temptation of materialism and seek to align our priorities with heavenly treasures that endure for eternity. Matthew chapter 6 verse 25 26. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air, they do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Material wealth often provides a false sense of security, leading us to place our trust in possessions rather than in God's provision. However, Jesus reminds us that true security comes from placing our faith in him. Just as God cares for the birds of the air and the lilies of the field, he will also provide for our needs. Let us release our worries about material concerns and trust in God's faithful provision. Luke chapter 12 verse 15. Then he said to them, Watch out! Be on your guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in an abundance of possessions. While material wealth may offer temporary satisfaction, it ultimately fails to satisfy the deepest longings of our souls. True wealth is found in spiritual fulfillment, in knowing God and experiencing His presence in our lives. Let us shift our focus from the pursuit of earthly treasures to the pursuit of spiritual riches that bring lasting joy and fulfillment. Philippians chapter 4 verse 11 12. I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. Contentment is not dependent on our material circumstances but rather on our attitude and perspective. The Apostle Paul teaches us the secret of true contentment, it comes from a deep-rooted trust in God's sovereignty and a willingness to find joy in every situation. Let us cultivate a spirit of contentment, knowing that our true wealth lies in our relationship with Christ. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 19. Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant nor to put their hope in wealth, which is so uncertain, but to put their hope in God, who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. Command them to do good, to be rich in good deeds, and to be generous and willing to share. In this way, they will lay up treasure for themselves as a firm foundation for the coming age, so that they may take hold of the life that is truly life. While material blessings are a gift from God, we are called to use them wisely and generously for the benefit of others. Instead of hoarding wealth for ourselves, let us be good stewards of God's blessings, sharing generously with those in need and investing in kingdom purposes. By practicing generosity, we store up treasures in heaven and experience the true richness of life in Christ. James chapter 4 verse 10. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up. In the pursuit of spiritual wealth, humility plays a vital role. Recognizing our dependence on God and surrendering to his sovereignty enables us to find true fulfillment. Humility allows us to release the grip of materialism and embrace God's abundant provision with gratitude. Let us humble ourselves before the Lord, trusting in his wisdom and guidance in all aspects of our lives. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 19. Moreover, when God gives someone wealth and possessions, and the ability to enjoy them, to accept their lot and be happy in their toil, this is a gift of God. While material blessings are a gift from God, it's essential to maintain balance and perspective. Enjoying God's blessings is not inherently wrong but when they become the sole focus of our lives, they can lead us astray. 
Let us embrace God's gift of enjoyment in moderation, recognizing that true happiness comes from contentment in Him. Colossians chapter 3 verse 15. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. And be thankful. Gratitude is a powerful antidote to the grip of materialism. By cultivating a thankful heart, we shift our focus from what we lack to the abundance of God's blessings. Gratitude opens our eyes to the countless gifts God has bestowed upon us, leading us to rejoice in His goodness and faithfulness. Let us practice gratitude daily, acknowledging God's provision with heartfelt thanksgiving. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 24 25. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. Navigating the challenges of materialism is not a journey we undertake alone. God designed us for community, and fellowship with fellow believers provides strength, support, and encouragement. In times of struggle, let us lean on one another, sharing our burdens and lifting each other up in prayer. Together, we can resist the allure of materialism and pursue true spiritual wealth in Christ. Luke chapter 16 verse 10. Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much, and whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest with much. Part of our spiritual journey involves responsible stewardship of the resources entrusted to us by God. This includes not only material possessions but also our time, talents, and opportunities. By managing our resources wisely and with integrity, we honor God and contribute to His kingdom work. Let us seek to use what we have been given in ways that reflect God's values and priorities, remembering that faithful stewardship leads to spiritual abundance. Matthew chapter 6 verse 19 21. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. While the world offers temporary security through material wealth, true security is found in God alone. Earthly possessions are fleeting and vulnerable to loss, but the treasures of heaven are eternal and incorruptible. By placing our trust in God's provision rather than in material wealth, we experience a deeper sense of security and peace. Let us shift our focus from the things of this world to the eternal riches that await us in Christ. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Jesus exhorts us to prioritize the kingdom of God above all else. This means aligning our desires, goals, and pursuits with God's purposes and values. When we seek first his kingdom, God promises to provide for our needs and bless us abundantly. Let us make the pursuit of spiritual wealth our highest priority, trusting that God will meet our material needs as we prioritize his kingdom work. Philippians chapter 4 verse 11 13. I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Contentment is not dependent on external circumstances but is a state of heart and mind rooted in our relationship with Christ. Regardless of our material possessions or financial status, we can find true fulfillment and satisfaction in him. As we abide in Christ and draw strength from him, we discover that he is enough for us in every circumstance. Let us cultivate contentment in Christ, knowing that he is our ultimate source of joy and satisfaction. Dear brothers and sisters, as we reflect on the pursuit of spiritual wealth amidst the challenges of materialism, may we be reminded of the timeless truths found in God's word. Let us embrace humility, stewardship, and trust in God's provision as we navigate the complexities of wealth and possessions. May we fix our eyes on the treasures of heaven, seeking first God's kingdom and righteousness above all else. And may we find contentment and fulfillment in Christ alone, knowing that he is our greatest treasure and ultimate source of abundance. Amen. Like and subscribe to make everyday biblical.